So I don't know if you guys remember uh, Yolanda from 90 Day Fiance, who was dating the Williams. Um, but she's now on 90 Day Diaries, and that's what I want to talk about today. Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie, I am the She in Sheality TV, and today I wanna to talk about 90 Day Diaries, specifically, ugh, my mouth isn't working today, Yolanda. Okay, so if you remember, Yolanda was dating the Williams, that big buff dude that we all knew was, you know, some dude sitting at a keyboard in Nigeria. And I guess she's moved on from him, right? She's She has accepted that he was a catfish and she has moved on. Now, the last time that I saw anything about Yolanda on the blogs or whatever, she was dating another like, you know, buff dude. But I'm guessing that's over because now she's moved on to this dude named John. Now, Yolanda is 53 years old and John is 37. They have been dating for four months. And truthfully speaking, I kind of like her. She's a little bit ditzy, but she's not mean and she, she doesn't do anything with a mean intention. She's just looking for someone to love. You know what I mean? I think she was, she was heavy and she lost a ton of weight. So now that she looks great, she's, you know, she's getting back into life. She's doing things that um, her excess weight wouldn't allow her to do before. And she wasn't secure enough in herself to do before. So you know what? Hey, good for her. So now she's dating this dude named John. He is 37 years old. They've been dating for four months, like I said before. And in this episode of 90 Day Diaries that I think loaded yesterday or today, um, they're going to St. Louis. Now his family, his mom and his cousins and brothers or whatever, all live in St. Louis. Yolanda lives in Vegas. He also owns a business with his mother in Vegas. He's a mortician. They own a funeral home, okay? So Yolanda and John are taking a trip to St. Louis to visit his, you know, well, I guess he needs to take care of business, right? Because he's been in Vegas for a while visiting her and they show them working out and, you know, just talking about um, their relationship and he wants to meet her kids. Now, remember, they've been together for four months, but her kids are grown. So it's not like they're, you know, little kids and she has to worry about, you know, him influencing them in the same way but she says that her kids are very protective of her and she doesn't want him to meet the kids yet it's not time but they're going to st louis to visit his family and so that he can take care of business and she wants to meet his mother now i'm simply gonna say i 100 get that she doesn't want him to meet her kids that's fair but if you don't want him to meet your kids where do you get off insisting that you should meet his mother? That ain't fair. That's not fair at all. And he should have stood his ground and said, no, you can't meet my mom. It's just too soon. Worse yet, I know how I am, okay? If my son, when he was in his 30s, brought home a 50-some-odd-year-old woman, no. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. I wouldn't accept it. I wouldn't because I feel to, to some degree, I feel like, uh, no, you're robbing me of grandchildren. I'm never going to have grandchildren and I don't care that you love this woman. I want grandkids, right? I know it's not about my life, but yeah, no, I wouldn't. If you are a mother at all, or t you guys tell me what you think. Tell me if you would accept your son bringing home a woman who is damn near 20 years older than him, right? He's in his 30s, she's in her 50s. Would you be okay with that? I would not, and I'm okay. I'm perfectly fine admitting that. I would not be okay with it. So anyway, they get on the plane, they go to St. Louis, she meets a bunch of his cousins, and they talk, and uh, the cousins ask John if uh, he's told his mother about Yolanda and he says yeah she knows that he's seeing someone she knows that her name is Yolanda but she does not know that she is much older than him so they're telling him that she's not gonna be happy and honestly 
can't say I blame her. W what mother wants that, right? Anyways, fast forward a few minutes in the episode and John goes to the funeral home. I guess to show Yolanda around or something. And this woman comes walking out who we can only assume is the mother, okay? So, I, so we see her walk out and I don't know about you guys, but I'm like, oh, mommy's not gonna be happy because she wasn't expecting, she didn't know that they were coming, right? She totally didn't know because he didn't tell her that he was coming home. And he did not tell her, obviously, that he was bringing Yolanda, obviously. So she walks out and she looks at him. The look, the look, you know the look. We all know the look. We've all given the look. That look that says, if you don't get out of my sight right now. So she looks at him and she looks at Yolanda. She does not say a word to Yolanda. And if I were Yolanda, I would turn and I would run out of that building. Mom doesn't say a word to Yolanda. She looks at her son and she's, she's, she starts to walk out and you can see her taking off like her mic pack and the, <laughs> the caption, she says, she goes, this is some bullshit. Like I said, can't say I blame her. I wouldn't be happy either. I mean, talk about being blindsided, right? Not only is she blindsided, but she blindsided with a woman who's nearly 20, 20 years older than her son. He does introduce him. He says, this is Yolanda. And so, she, and that's when she looks at Yolanda and kind of goes, mm -mm, no, nope. And then she says to him, you come here and says so she's walking out of the room. So I guess she has words with her son and the next, in the next scene, John and Yolanda are back in the car, heading back to their hotel. And Yolanda's like, what's going on? Like, what did she say? And he says, it doesn't matter. And obviously mom said something that was not kind. And so he, it puts him in a really pissy mood and he doesn't want to talk about it. And then uh, when they're interviewing Yolanda again, she's telling us that um, their relationship has changed. Like now when they talk, it's very, uh, the conversations are very stunted and you know, he answers in very short bursts. So I'm gonna say that John is some type of mama's boy, which even if he wasn't, mom would be unhappy with his choice of a potential partner. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think this one's gonna last. Honestly speaking, I feel like Yolanda should have her own show. I would much more quickly watch the escapades of Yolanda than that Angela woman. Much more quickly, much more quickly. Yeah, she's kind of ditzy, but she's funny to watch. I would totally watch her. What about you guys? Would you watch Yolanda over what's her nose? I'm just not gonna say her name. Starts with an A. That's all I've got for Yolanda and 90 Day Diaries. Thanks for watching. Peace.